Hey family, my name is Steven Spotswood. Welcome to my vlog. This is the second episode. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a lick that I use when I'm improvising. Maybe you can incorporate it into your playing and improvising as well. You can use it for any instrument. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna take a C major scale first and play it just in one octave up and down. Simple, that's step number one. Step number two, see if you can play the scale starting on the lowest note on your instrument that you can play, going up into the highest note on your instrument that you feel comfortable playing. So for a string musician, it would be in first position and go back down, so. Okay, that's step two. One more time. Okay. Step number three. See if you could do a pattern where you go up two and down one. Up two and down one. So you're gonna go G up two notes to B. You're gonna go down one to A, up two to C, down to B, up two to D, C, E, D, F, E, G. So here's how it sounds with the bow. Go back down. Okay, that's step number three. Step number four, and you don't have to do all of these steps in one day. Master each step and then move to the next one. But step number four, I want you to see if you can play the first, third, and fifth scale degree starting on each note all the way up and all the way back down in a triplet rhythm and back down So the final step, step number five, you're going to take that triad and you're going to add the seventh scale degree to that triad going up and down. So it's going to sound like... a free PDF of all five of these exercises that you can print for free. It's in the description box below this video. Take that, use it in your practice if you would like. Um, again, it's just a lick that I use and you know you, you might enjoy it. I know I do. Now how is this applicable or how does it apply to when we're improvising and when we're playing? Again, we're in C major. Make sure that you learn all of the keys. Do this lick in all of the keys. But I thought of the perfect song, St. Thomas, the jazz standard, to use to apply this lick. So if we're playing St. Thomas. Down. 
eighth notes now because that's primarily the rhythms of jazz. Or if you want a hipper sound, you can start on the off beats. So one and two and three and four. Let's start, let's do ascending, so. Okay. And then just play around with it melodically, any type of way, so. One thing that I like to do to play around with, with it melodically is go descending and then ascending on the offbeat. So. So lit. Remember, practice it in every key, of course, learning on all 12 keys. Um, don't hesitate to start slow, practice with the metronome, then get faster, okay? But as I always say, remember to go out and jam with people. Don't always play in a box inside, but um, go out and learn the language of different genres of jazz, bluegrass, pop, R&B, classical, learn it all, learn as much as you can. Well, the blooper of the day was in the in the video edit. So I'm not gonna edit it out, but it was in there. So sorry about that. But hey, thank you to my brother, Stanley Spotswood Jr. who um, asked for a lick that I could show on my vlog that we could use to improvise with. So. If you have any other suggestions or comments, uh, things that you would like to learn on a stringed instrument or just music in general, feel free to leave a comment and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Steven Spotswood, family. Love, peace.